In this tutorial, we are going to talk about guarantee collision. So I've got uh, this question which came in one of the um, exam. So the question is, a bilant ball B at rest is struck by an identical bilant ball A moving with a speed of 20 meters per second along the positive x-axis. After the collision, the two balls move off in directions that are perpendicular to each other with ball A making 30 degrees with positive x-axis. Find the final velocities of both bands which is the direction and the magnitude. Okay. So uh, when we're talking about garrison collision, one thing should come in our mind is that uh, if we have got two two balls moving in this direction, let me put it on top there. So, if I have got ball A and ball B, so let's say that this is A and that's B. Okay, so this is before collision before collision. Now, after collision, these two guys, they are going to move in a separate, in opposite. Another one will go here. So, we've been told that eh, after collision, the two balls move off in a direction that are perpendicular. What does it mean? Perpendicular meaning that the angle is 90 degrees. Now, in this case, we've been told that A was making an angle of what? 30 degrees. So if I do 90 minus 30, it should be 60, meaning the other one is going to be 60. So I have got my bow here, that's M. Another one will come in this direction. So mind you, these are making 90 degrees. So I'm going to put it like that. So that is going to be my bow B. So I'll put A here, I'll put B here. So we've been told that the angle which is for, for A, it is 30 degrees. Then the angle, since it is moving like um, they are perpendicular to each other, so it's 90, so now 90 minus 30, meaning the other one is 60 degrees. Okay, so we know that since Bob B was at rest, but ball A was moving with the velocity we have been told. So the initial velocity of ball A is 20 meters per second. Now, what we have to do under guarantee collision, so this is going to be now the V1 final of which we don't know. Okay. V1 final, we don't know. Then we have... V2 final, we also don't know. It's the one we are trying to find. Okay. So I'm going to have uh, the V final here. I need to put V2 final. So now, we can clearly see that after collision, this is now after collision. These two were moving at an angle, meaning that if I get the first one there, it was moving in x axis as well as in y axis. So that's my v1 fine, meaning that this is v1 fx, this is v1 fy. So since I've got an angle, okay. Meaning that if I also get this other one, it's going to be the same. It is coming here, so I've got the x as well as the y. Okay, so I also have v2 final, then this is 2fx, v2 fy. The angle is here. I'll go back to vectors, so katoa. Okay. 
meaning that the x I'm going to use what cos. So I'm going to say in x direction, I expect to have two equations since it was moving in x and in y. So I'll say in x direction, initially we have got both a and both b. So I'm going to say m a, okay, v a initial plus m2 or not m2 let me use mb mb vb initial should be equal to even here i should use a even this one should be b because i've been told what to use so it's going to be m a v a final okay now in this case since we're talking about x axis x direction so it's going to be x plus m a now this is supposed to be m b v b fine now in x direction okay so what i'm going to do allow me to present this to be theta 1 or theta for a then theta for b to make things simple because those two theta they are different so if i just put if I just put theta, it's going to it's not going to make sense. Okay. So meaning that when we're dealing with vectors in x axis it's going to be cos. So I'll go ahead and say since b is at rest, this is going to be cancelled out. I will mean with m a v a initial should be equal to m a v a final cos theta 1 because now we're talking about the first one here the second one will be plus mb vb final cos theta now this theta is for b even this one i need to specify for a so this is going to be my equation in x axis Okay. Now that equation I need to put it here. I need to put it, I'll just shift it should be on top here. So and then I'm going to go for y direction. So let's go now to y direction now in y direction initially before collision these two balls were moving in x direction only so the the first initial is going to be zero but after collision that's when now it started now moving in y direction here even here in y direction okay so we'll say m a v a final but in y but since the other one is now coming down the arrow is going down here that would uh, that that clearly tells us to say it's going to be minus. So here it was positive because they are also they are all moving the same direction. They are moving in this direction. But now the other one is moving in that direction. The other one is coming down. Therefore, it's going to be minus m b v b final in y axis. So for y we are using sign. So I'll say zero should be equal to m a. I'll have M A V A final sine theta A minus M B V B final sine theta B. Okay, so this is going to be the formulas which we are going to be using in y axis for any kind of garancing collision. So under garancing collision, you can't use one formula to come up with the answer. You need to come up with this formula and also that formula. So you need just to know two formulas. Then you start now plugging in the values, the rest to solve themselves. So for example, let me get rid of this. Because I know that, let me just put it here. Theta for A is 30 degrees. Then theta for B. 
theta for b is 60 degrees now I can get rid of this I can get rid of this and rewrite this formula or oh, let me first read the question so the question is saying a brilliant ball b at rest is struck by an identical brilliant ball a identical meaning they have got the same masses so what should come in your mind that the mass is going to cancel out because we have got the same masses so the x direction now formula is going to be further simplified as va initial is equal to va final cos theta plus now that is theta a plus vb final cos theta b we move this then I'm going to put y direction here so what's going to happen is um, if I want I can shift this guy to the other side it's fine so meaning is going to be m b or I can do it from here I want to cancel m so this is going to be uh, I'm shifting this to go to the left side so we have mb vbf sine theta b is equal to ma va uh, f sine theta a since the mass is the same we we'll end up cancelling the mass so we we'll have the final formula for this question to be v b f sin theta b is equal to v a f which is final sin theta a now let me create space down here so we can now plug in the values according to the data which have been given the initial velocity is what is is 20 that is for VA. For this formula, we don't have any initial velocity, and our goal is to find the final velocities. So let's plug in the value from the x direction here. The initial velocity is 20, is equal to VA, we don't know. VA final, we don't know. But we know the theta, that is 30 degrees. Plus V, BF, we don't know. But we know the theta to be 60 degrees okay now when I do this I also plug in the values here VBF sine FB is 60 degrees is equal to VA we don't know sine 30 so what I'm going to do I'm going to make VB as a subject of formula here that would mean to say I'm going to divide both sides by um, sine 60 so here I will divide it by sine 60 even here by sine 60 so these will cancel and I'll end up having VB F is equal to VA sine 30 divided by sine 60 so what we can do to make things simple we can just say what is sine 30 divided by sine 60 sine 30 divided by sine 60 so it is now we are going to have v b f is equal to v a i should put final here i should put final v a in the brackets now 0 0.7 or 0 0.577 like that meaning that in this equation for the x-axis where there is VB we're going to replace it with VA final times 0 0.577 so we'll come here and say 20 is equal to VA we will write it the way it is VA but I can find the answer for cos 30 okay what is cos 30 so cos 30 is um, 
I can write it like this. Cost 30 is 0 point. You can leave it in three decimal places. It's fine. Then VA final plus. So this is going to be where there is VB. We replace it with VA. Okay. We replace it with. It's like we're replacing it with 0 0.577 VA final then times cos okay times cos 60 so I'm going to say 20 is equal to I will write this the way it is then VA final plus let's first do what is cos 60 0 0.5 0 0.5 times 0 0.577 that is 0 0.2869 I've just learned it off it's 2885 so I want to be working with three decimal places is fine VA fine now these they can be added this guy and that guy so if I do 0 0.2 0 0.866 plus 0 0.2 89 I'm going to find one point so I have got 20 is equal to 1.155 VA final at this point now I can divide both sides by 1.5 even here 1.155 so these will cancel Meaning that my VA final will be equal to uh, 20 divided by 1.155. That is 17.31. 17.32 meters per second. That would be my velocity. The final velocity. Now this is making sense because the initial was 20. Okay. So we don't expect it to be greater than 20. It has to be less than 20. That's what we need to know. So from here now, what else can we see? So from this formula here, we want to find also for the B1. The one we had to make VB as a subject of formula. I'm going to plug in where there is VA with the answer which we have just come up with. I'm talking about this formula here. So it will be V B F is equal to so V A we have found that is seventeen point three two times zero point five seven seven. So if I do the math here, I can clearly see that. And one thing we should know is that um, VB is going to be less than 17 because it was it started moving because of VA okay because of bo A so we don't expect it to exceed VA the velocity has to be less than the first one so we have 17 0.32 times 0 0.577 so now the velocity is 10 meters per second so these are the answers now for the final velocities okay